All right, so one of my viewers said, I'd love to see a breakdown of how to trade and follow an entry correctly at a higher level. As of right now in solo queue, it can be quite hectic on site and it's not always obvious what the pros are thinking as it happens so fast. And this all ties in with timing and game sense. So I'll make sure to include all of that in this video. And by the way, thank you all for your awesome comments. All right, so this is the first example here on Ascent. So I'm playing Chamber, a non-duelist. So I'm gonna let the clip play out and I'm gonna show you what I did right and also what I did wrong so you can learn from my mistakes. One CT. One CT, one market. I did my job. <laughs> I'm through. I'm through. <laughs> I did not do my job. So I'm gonna pause it right here. As you can tell, Jet is in front of me. I am behind the duelist, right? I'm making sure I don't entry first. I'm letting the duelist entry first. That's the job. Now I'm just staying behind and assisting them from the back. We also have a Sova drone and we also have Astra Smoke. So waiting for Util before entering a site is essential as well because you don't want to get up from their spawn when it could have been easily avoided if it was smoke. Now before I exit out of B main, I see that Jed is going to clear the left side. So that's why I'm moving towards the right side to clear the right side so that we can get the job done faster. She's not doing all the work, I'm helping. And after I clear logs, cause someone could be there, since I know that the person in market is opping, I pushed because they're most likely not going to be able to defend themselves as well with an op, um, unless they're holding a shorty, but even that they're going to have to pull it out and you have an advantage. Those are the things that I did right. I cleared logs. I traded Astra. I pushed the opper getting a free pick. Now the best thing for me to do was to actually fall back into sight or play B main to watch flank and get a good timing on the people trying to play retake. Now, that's not what I did. What I did was I actually pushed thinking I could get maybe one more extra pick, but I actually died because my cross replacement was not good. It was horrible. And my team actually ended up losing this, sadly enough. And this all could have been avoided if I simply played with my team. Instead, I, 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 I overheated. I'm not gonna lie, I overheated. Now, here's another clip of me on Fracture. And I'm gonna play out the clip again. And I'm gonna review and analyze what I did so we can learn from it. Alright, so I was about to entry site, however I was smoked off and I was getting spammed through the smoke. So I started going back and I saw that my team is actually going from sands, right? And I was like, okay, let me go with my team. So I go with my team, I trade chamber and I'm about to go in their spawn to get a pick or try to, but then I see that breach died. So I was like, okay, let me trade breach. And I, I traded breach. Now, even though I had six bullets, I still put sky because I don't want to reload in danger because when you reload there's a moment of vulnerability where if somebody peeks while you're reloading you're dead so that's not something you want to be doing now my game sense is telling me there are way too many angles right now there could be somebody right here ropes there could be somebody on my right and it could be someone flank because chamber just died so I don't know if my back is covered or not that's why I actually go back to check flank to see if anything's there. And I slowly walk my way back to Viper, not making any noise. I don't want them to know where I'm at. And this is why we walk, because right here, this chamber was not aware of this push. He was completely lost that we could even be on site. Now for this last one, my team is entering, so I'm going with my team. 
and i'm just doing my job i'm i'm sad chilling my team actually gets demolished at b main but i come in i just satcheled that neon is not expecting me to satchel like that so i get that trade and then i turn around i see sky and i deal with her i ended up rose anyway we don't have to talk about that this was very winnable right i traded my team gave us an advantage but we ended up losing just because viper got out of an ult and some things happened anyway so in conclusion play with your team try to be in the gunfights with them right you don't want them to be alone you want to be with the team assisting your team and play with your team as best as you can all right so that's all i got for you guys today i hope you enjoyed the video if you want to learn how to up there's another video of mine and that's an in-depth guide of how to use it so let me know what you guys want to see next till next time